Hey guys, I have a dog. Well, my daughter has a dog. One day I was sitting down in my sofa with him. I know exactly what he's thinking. He can talk to me. And then he talked me and he said, Hi, abuela. He called me abuela, which is grandma in Spanish. So, and he said, how come you sew and you never have done anything to me? And I was like, oh my gosh, that's true. Don't worry, I will do something for you. So, I have a friend that gave me a pattern that she used for her little dog. Her dog is a little bit smaller, like a, maybe 6.5 pounds and mine is eight pounds. So I'm modifying the pattern, we will see. Um, so if you wanna see what we are going to do, let's go. That's the pattern my friend gave to me. It was until here, I add a little bit more, just because my dog is a little bit bigger than hers. This is a cotton interfacing. And what I'm gonna do, I will interface both. So I will cut it double. So that's the interfacing. Now I will cut the material. So I have a little bit too much. So this is a little wrinkle. I should iron this one a little bit. There you go. So I will try to make sure to fold it in the line and then fold it again. There you go. Oh my gosh, I'm already dying with the cuteness of this. Now I will iron the interfacing. When you iron the interfacing, start with the center and then go to the side. There you go, that's one. So cute, right? So cute. So I will use an old jeans that nobody wants and I will take this part to sew it here in the center. I have a ring which is, I need this one to be three quarter inch. So that will be like that. So basically this, like that. And then I will leave a little bit of material to fold it in. So I will leave half an inch each side. I will sew it like that. So I'm thinking that a nice bowl, I can make it here in the center, around three inches, I guess. So if I get three inches, I make it probably one and a half by three. So I will just make a little pattern for it. If I wanted three, I need this pattern be six and then a little bit more, like it, let's say seven, seven inches. So I will just cut it first and then I will give a little bit of shape. So it will be like that and like that. We will give a little shape like that. Uh, it just look cuter. But I did this side, I'll do it the other side. This looks cuter like that. And I'll make one little finish for the bow. Yeah, it might be good. Okay, so let's go and sew. As 
as you can see I'm not trying to be perfect in anything I'll just go with the flow just iron it a little bit I will use my little iron that I have here there you go okay Nice stitch there. Okay. I will put my bow tie like that. And it's so cute. I will sew this one by hand. And I will do the, this pleat so it will look like so nice. So I will just stitch it. So if you want, you can put a snap here, so when you wash the harness, you can remove it if you don't want the bowl to get too damaged, but um, I guess that is pretty much safe. I will still keep my needle there because I will then attach this one to, the, to my harness. Look at that. Yes! So now we'll go with the harness. I'm finding my half and my half. And I will put this one here uh, with the ring. The ring, I think it should go around there, more or less. So I will sew until here. So I will go and sew from there down. Now we'll sew it like that. So I will do a top stitch. I have a very thin needle. Let's see if the needle will make it, otherwise we will just change it. But let's try. And the other side is on. But if you want it to look more similar, you can do the top stitch, but in that case, this side is higher than this one. I think it looks good like that. And I will put my, at the end, I will put my bow tie there. Oh my God. Okay, so we will cut here, cut here. And now we will just sew the two sides together, leaving a little bit for turning. You can serve yourself with the pins. First, I was thinking to leave the opening here, but I think I will leave the opening here so everything is clean, and then I will put the Velcro there so it will be okay. Probably a top stitch of one quarter inch. The good thing about this one is because this is cut 45 degrees. It will be very good on the on the dog. Like a, it, it will stretch with the dog, so it will be very nice and comfortable. Now we 
will put the little ball here for him. Here you go, and my last step, just put Velcro in the corner so we can attach it to him. Ooh, that's so cute. Okay, so let me look for the Velcros. So that's the final result. I think my dog will love it. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.